Oh well, we out here trying to win dollary dues for funds that could be utilized for goods and services. Now, Yoshi to Greninja. Uh, another matchup not particularly seen. I feel that's more towards the fault of not many Greninja players being around. But if we were to see anyone to test this matchup against it, these two are certainly premier picks. All players going to make a lot of use out of how quick they are on the ground and in the air. And having very burst-like combos. Very interesting. Seems that the down air from Yoshi is able to eat through Shadow Sneak, and it takes a couple of them for, uh, um, for Venia to pull through them. And Venia not getting the proper timing on the uh, down air footstool setup, but at the very least, he does have percentage on Raptor, and he's keeping up blow for blow. And he is not able to edge guard with the Hydro Pump, despite going out deep against Raptor. And Yoshi's weight coming in clutch for Raptor, maintaining that stock, but down tilt in the forward air allows Venia to take first blood in the set. Venia trying to push the stage control as best as he can around, while Raptor is moving around fairly evasively. The movement between egg lay and these empty hops are making sure that Raptor doesn't commit too hard to any of his aerial options, while making sure not to stealth as well. However, because Venia is responding quicker and more aggressively, he's the one conducting the momentum of the match, and in turn it's allowing Venia to rack up more damage hit for hit than Raptor is. Once again, we see the down tilt into forward air confirmed, but it's not going to be set to kill just yet. Raptor doing well to try and match with these hits. And even though Venia reads the air dodge, he's just too far off to be able to meet with the forward air. Very wise of Raptor to get himself far and away from Venia. But... It's not going to be enough, just managing to ghost through him. And up throw, not going to kill just yet. Yoshi deceptively heavy. Hello, at 155, yeah, that'll do it. And Venia managing to take game one over Raptor. I definitely see the Smashville run back, but I don't know if it's going to be the best of decisions. Just off the basis that Venia had such ease with controlling the stage. Unfortunately, it is Smashville we go back to. While I feel that this is the, uh, the premier stage for Yoshi's to go to, in this situation, I feel like Lilat or Final Destination, maybe even Battlefield would have been a better option, better suited. Right out the gate, Venia starting a little bit of control with percentage. However, much like the start to game one, it's going to be a matter of who bursts first and who's going to be entering into that danger zone of percentages. Raptor looking for an opening, but he's not able to find it. Instead, it's leaving him in a position where He's just going to be eating damage for his efforts. Now Venia punishing his landings where he can get them. After whipping the jabs, not able to get any type of a hit confirm onto Venia. And Venia just further asserting his stage control with these up smashes.
Very risky Hydro Pump to the left side of the stage. However, Venia does find his way back. Trying to move in on Raptor. Raptor being a bit more proactive in how he's contesting Venia in the neutral. Keeping the percentages closer, but at the same time, going blow for blow with Greninja is dangerous. As we're seeing, he does make good use out of Rage. And Venia has no issue with converting his hit confirms, even at these higher percentages. Venia opting for more shimmying and short hopping to maneuver himself. Not going to afford losing stage control. He does manage to get the hit confirm into forward air and takes his lead. Now sitting at 108% in counting. There's certainly opportunity for Raptor to take this back and he does as soon as given the opportunity, and Up Air manages to tie things back up with only 14% racked up. Starting anew, Venia trying to ghost Raptor on the platforms, however. I feel like the spacing of forward air from Yoshi just isn't enough to reach the spacing of forward air from Grinit. It's just a very minute matter of spacing in this, and while a throw is a fantastic projectile in the hands of Raptor, I feel like the different arcs that it throws at aren't able to cover the linearity of Hydro Pump, mainly due to its speed. Water Shuriken proving to be a bit more of an effective projectile, and many are running up for the up smash, but just not able to get it in time. And with the up smash confirmed, we see that Venia takes a 2-0 over Raptor, and we'll be moving into Loser's Finals.